Hi, welcome to Bloomington Tutors. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do some date formulas. We're going to go through and we're going to do some dates, some date diffs, and some more complex formulas that have dates involved with them. So just to get you guys a little used to them. So the first thing we're going to do is today's date. This is probably the easiest and most forgettable formula in Excel. It's just today. And there you go, that was today's date when I filmed this. And so if we want yesterday, we're just going to use that same formula again. So equals today. There's a little catch. We're going to do minus 1. And that minus 1 will take us back one day. There you go, that was yesterday's date. And using the same knowledge again, today, if my, yesterday was minus 1, tomorrow will just be plus 1. Three months from today, same thing. Instead of doing plus 1, we're going to do a little plus 90 to get those 3 months in there. Okay? So those are those dates formulas. They're pretty simple and they're generally going to be the same all the time. Now we're going to do some date difference formulas. If you're looking for the difference between two dates, it's the date diff formula. So the date diff formula goes early date, later date, month, day, or years. So it looks like here we're looking for the years. So just keep that in mind. So let's start our date diff. Now this formula does not have little argue, like little helper arguments at the bottom. You just have to memorize it. So again, it's our early date, which is the date they were hired, later date, today, and then month, days, or years. And we want years. So now let's just do the formula with that knowledge. Early date, later date, month, days, or years, so quote, why, quote, close. Okay, it's been, he's been working there for 22 years. So now we got the same question just with months. So the only thing we're gonna change is that last little argument at the end. Early date, later date, month, days, or years, we want months. Okay, again, and now we'll do our days. Early date, later date, month, days, or years, and we want days. Okay, but what if they were to ask you for weeks, okay? Remember the formula goes month, days, or years. Nowhere does it say weeks. So watch this little trick here. D early date, later date, month, days, or weeks. Well, we'll try W for weeks. It doesn't work. You get an error because it's not part of the formula. So, we'll so instead we'll change it to days and then we'll divide by seven for the seven days of the weeks and this formula will work but you see that nasty decimal we don't want that generally in K21 you'll be asked for whole weeks so this is how you do the whole weeks it's just the same formula as weeks again but at the very very end you're gonna have to add the integer formula now the integer formula is just the INT that's it very very simple and it's just gonna do that little rounding for us so again INT And there you have it, our whole weeks. Okay, so now we'll move on to some more advanced formulas. So what was the hire date of the first employee? For this, we want the first employee. So we're going to look at his hire date. And if we want the earliest date, we're looking for the smallest date, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? September is month 9, December is month 12. It's a smaller number, so we're going to do our min formula. Okay, if you need a little bit more practice with the min formula, we do have videos on that, so go ahead and watch that. But that was the earliest date that an employee was hired, and that was Michael Scott again. So when we want to know how many people were hired before January 1st, 2001. Now, I already um, did a condition format to show these out to you but instead we're gonna do the formula so how many people that's a count but there's a condition there the condition is they must have been hired before 2001 so that is a count if if you need more help with a count if again we have a video on that as well so you pick your range and then our criteria remember count if criteria must always be in quotes okay so now we want earlier than January 1st 2011 so we use our less than and then we just type out the date as simple as that go ahead and close your quotes close the formula and we should get five and there you have it five now in no way shape or form is this a comprehensive guide and I recommend if you're having trouble with this um, booking another session with your tutor to go over them but we did do some date formulas 
some date difference formulas, and then we did do some more complex um, formulas that involve dates. If you need more help with those, we will have more videos with those, but as far as dates go, this is all we have. So again, thank you so much for tuning into Bloomington Tutors, and good luck!